Hi folks, welcome to Rusty and Nellie's Jungle. Today is kind of an important video. We're gonna show you how to get rid of mealybugs quick and effective without the swabbing of the alcohol on every leaf. So for a tropical plant, it's gonna be pretty easy. You're actually just gonna wash this down. We'll, we'll explain what, what with later. But when you get to a succulent, something like this, how do you get in there? And it's pretty much impossible. So we're gonna show you how to do that. And, and when you have so many succulents, the time it's gonna take to swab down each one of these with a little bit of alcohol is gonna take forever. I'm gonna show you a little clip of, of, of how many succulents we're dealing with. And we want, when you have succulents and plants, we want it to be fun. We don't want it, oh, I've got a nightmare. I, I, I'm battling the mealy, I can't beat the mealy. Well, this is an easy method. We're gonna show you, it's, I'm gonna try and make it as quick as possible. Okay, so first we're gonna get, so first of all, we're gonna get isopropyl alcohol, okay? So that's different than ethanol, okay? Or ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol is pretty much what's in your alcohols, your rum, your whiskeys, your vodkas. Um, that's not what, we're not looking for ethyl, we're looking for isopropyl alcohol, okay? Now we're gonna want a mixture of 70%. Now it needs to be in between 50 and 70%. Anything under 50% isn't effective. And you do need water. You don't want 99%. The water actually helps the process. So 75% is probably what you need. I use about 66. Okay, so what, what I use is two, two parts isopropyl alcohol and one part water. So that's gonna be about 66%. So I'm right in that sweet spot. Now the key to this whole process, and, and it sounds crazy, the difference between this and the way we're gonna show you, we wanna use a fine spray mister. This is the key to the whole process. It's not the bottle, you can get this bottle anywhere. It's more like the, you know, the mouth, you know, you're going on a hot date, how you doing? <laughs> you know one of them? So, and, it, and it, I'll, I'll kind of spray it out. And see the way it just gives a little mist. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. I'm gonna spray Nelly. She's not happy, but it just gives us a fine mist because we don't want to soap the plants. We want, want this fine mist. This is the key to everything. You want not, it's in the wrong bottle. We just use this bottle because this was the bottle we wanted. So, so first things first, when you see a plant that's got limpy bottom leaves, the top are hard rocks. And then when you get down to the bottom, it could have mealies. First check to make sure you have a mealy problem. And if you do have a mealy problem, I'm, this plant doesn't, but I'm gonna show you what we do. So step number one, we're going to spray it everywhere. I don't know if you see, lift every leaf, boom, boom. And, it, and it, it gives a nice light coating on every leaf, bang, 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 bang. Now it looks like it's drenching it, it's actually not. It's using just a, a tiny, tiny, it's because of that mist thing that we're, and it, you can see it's not even spraying anything. It's just putting out a mist. So we've done this plant right there, that easy. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to move it to an area where there are no other in plants. We want to kind of have a little isolation area I like to suggest a room with a north facing window because we don't want direct light on these and we want to keep them for maybe three, four days in an area where they have indirect kind of low light. We still want nice conditions, nice and warm and everything, but we don't want them to get direct light. Now we want to repeat that procedure in about four days and you'll see that uh, um, it will be dry and you're just going to do the exact same thing, okay? So, and we're gonna keep them in this area after that for about two weeks. After that, you're gonna see no, no 
burning on the leaves, the plant is going to be very healthy when you pick it back up. Now, we've done all these methods, the diatomaceous earth. I saw it on Facebook. Uh, someone was, they sprinkled the diatomaceous earth all over the plant and say, they said, mealy problem solved. I was like, perfect, honey. <laughs> we got a method. So, you know me, I test everything and that's what I did. I got three or four plants and sprinkled them with uh, the diatomaceous earth. And um, yeah, it stopped the spread of the mealy. But even in three, four weeks, five weeks, you lift up the leaf and the mealies would all be there. They would congregate on the bottom of the leaves. Uh, it didn't work. It stopped the spread maybe, but it didn't work as a, as a method to get rid of a mealy infestation. Now, I would recommend if you have mealies and you're gonna do this, um, I would recommend that you put some diatomaceous earth on the soil because that can stop it if you don't want to replant, you know, if you have it in the soil, you do want to get rid of the soil. But if it's not in the soil or you're not sure, or it's too much work, you can put it on top of the soil. And as the mealies come up, they will get into the diatomaceous earth. It'll get stuck on them. And it'll pretty much slice them to death. It, it kind of smothers them. So, so that works in that case. But as far as the mealy, this has been an excellent, we, we, there's been no casualties. The growth, that the plant, how it becomes happy after you've done this is incredible. It's extremely easy, especially when you have plants, you know, something like this, that, that you, you can't physically get in there with one of these, number one. It's, it's, it's going to be a nightmare. You're going to be dipping all day long. This plant is going to take you probably half an hour to get rid of the mealies. I can do it here with 30 seconds with this fine mist spray. You see, so you're not coating it. If you had a regular spray bottle, you'd be using way too much. You're probably going to burn it. But with this, you can just spray it on there. It's going to get right in. You are going to do, you know, maybe in four days, you're going to do it again just because there's that mealy that you missed or one that came up. And you're going to have a nice, healthy plant with, with no side effects from using the, the isopropyl alcohol. And your mealies are going to be gone. We've, we've tried a ton of methods. We've tried the neem oil. Uh, and all those work. There's, there's really no method. If I could get the diatomaceous earth and somehow blow it in there, th it would work. Uh, the neem oil, if you can get it, all those things work. It's time. And, we, and we, we don't want to be spending hours and hours in mad and angry that these mealies are taking, taking uh, down our plants. So, so this is a quick, easy, honestly, trust me, we've tried it. The, the, the main, there's two main things is we don't want bright light on these plants. So if they're in a grow room, take them out, put them in a room, not near the window, in the middle of the room. Just so it's not a pitch black room, they're getting some light, but they're not getting uh, direct light. They're not getting grow light. Number two, if I'm spraying in the top here of the plant, bang, we don't want alcohol to sit in there. So you want to make sure, you, for number one, you just do a little bit, make sure you get everything, but you don't want to build up. And if you do get a build up, you want to get one of the, the blowers to blow it out so there's no build up. Because if there is and that sits there for a few days, you, you're going to see some burn in that area. So that's pretty much it. So summation, healthy plant on the top, floppy leaves on the bottom, immediately check that plant for mealies. If it has mealies, check all the plants near, bring them out, spray them with our two parts, wa uh, two parts isopropyl alcohol and one part water. Shake it up. Very important that you put the alcohol and that will give you about a 66%. Get one of these fine misters. This is the whole key to everything. This is the, the magic sauce. I've, <laughs> I've soaked Nelly with this stuff now, but you're at least clean, honey. My phone is sterile. <laughs> Okay, so then we want to do a fine mist on everything. We want to lift every leaf, get underneath. We want to soak it just like this one. And you can see it's already drying right now. But you can see everything's been soaked. It, you can see it's starting to dry, but everything's been soaked. But it's not, it's not a crazy amount like you would get in any other normal spray bottle. Because we've got one of these little dollar store date mix. Um, misting little devices here. So we've done that. We've, we've, we've uh, uh, sprayed it. 
we want to put it in an isolation room with, they call it your mealy room, um, quarantine them, and you can keep them all together, that's fine. You don't have to have 10 mealy rooms, keep them all together. F four days later, go back in, do another quick spray and lift up every leaf, spray everything like that. Keep them in there after for about two weeks. Monitor them, then do your final check. Hey, we're good. Then they can be introduced back into the room. You can kill your mealies extremely quickly. It's actually, you know, it's a pleasant experience. It's not like before we were doing the, 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 oh my gosh, spend forever on it. Took too long because we have too many, um, we have too many plants. There is a caveat to that. If you see an egg sac, remove the egg sac because this will work on the egg sac, but it's, but it's gonna take maybe four weeks and maybe three or four sprays, which we've tested. So remove the eggs. If you've got a big egg sac of them, don't just sit there and spray it. You can, but you're gonna have to do three or four sprays of this and you're gonna have to keep it in there for a month or you can simply, you know, it's not gonna have egg sacs everywhere. If, if, if it has, you've really not been watching your plants, but, um, I would remove the egg sacs and, and probably just dip this in there, remove the egg sac and then come and spray it again. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. This does work um, and it's very easy. So if you like this video, we do have another video of, a, um, of how to get rid of a, the scale or that crusty, I don't even know what it is, but- It's scale. Yeah, it's a scale, okay. <laughs> of the scale, um, we've used a, a lot of methods. We didn't even know what it was before. We figured it out. Uh, we see a lot of things on Facebook, people asking, what is it? And no one seems to know. We figured it out. We figured out how to get rid of it and fix your plants. Subscribe to us and uh, watch that video and uh, some great information coming. So anyway, take care, like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Oh, happy new year.